Today, we're going to be going over how to make your 3D and After Effects actually look real. I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of tips how you can better blend your 3D into your environments and make it look like it's actually in the scene. If you don't already know, there's two ways you can add 3D instead of After Effects. The first way is Element 3D, and the second way is the After Effects beta right now. So everything I do on these models inside of Element 3D, you guys can also do in the After Effects beta. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to hit new, we're going to go over to solid, and we're going to create a solid called one and a solid called two. On both of these, we're going to drag and drop Element 3D, Go over to scene setup. And I'm going to import this heart right here. Put on a normalized size. And as you guys can see here, we have a nice looking heart. And then we do the exact same thing for number one. And boom, as you guys can see there, we have our two hearts. And we're going to go ahead and throw this stock footage in the background behind our two clips here. And what we're going to do to get started is on the second one right here, which we're going to be working on the most, we're going to go over to scene setup. We're going to go over to presets, go over to physical, and we're going to pick chrome and drag and drop that on there. And as you guys can see, boom, we have a chrome effect. It is not reflecting to the background and it does not look the greatest. Now the blend to the background to match the footage, there is a super simple way you guys can do this that most people don't know about. If we go over to custom layers here, go down to custom texture maps. Under layer one, we can select number three, which is our background footage. And going back into scene setup here, we can click on our nice heart, go down to Chrome, and then we're gonna go down to our environment and we're gonna set the custom layer one, which we added here. And boom, as you guys can see there, it is perfectly blended. Now just super quick, sorry to interrupt. If you guys wanna download the project file for this, it'll be linked in the description below for absolutely free. And this includes everything that I use in this tutorial on there. Now let's hop right back into the video. Now it might look a little bit warped, but we can fix this now. We go all the way down to render settings, open up the physical environment and open up rotate environment. We can now rotate this environment to our liking, as you guys can see here. And we can also play with the exposure here, gamma, the lighting influence, if you guys want to add more shadows to it. Now moving on to the next one here, we're going to open up shadows and we're going to turn on enable. And then we're going to go down to ambient occlusion and we're going to turn on enable AO. We're going to change our AO mode to ray traced. Now this is going to add those ray trace shadows there. I'm going ahead and playing with some of the options here. You guys can turn up your shadows and make them a lot more intense. Now going into lighting, we're then going to go over to add lighting. And then we have all of these options here. I'm going to go with sunset because I really think that matches the scene here. But if you want to go with warm, for example, that also matches it. You have a bunch of different options here for lighting that I highly recommend you guys go through and they vary to your scene. But for example, as you guys can see, the heart is in focus and the background is also in focus as well. Now to give this more of a realistic feeling, we're going to search up camera or lens blur. We're going to drag that on to the background layer and onto our hair here. And you guys can already see the night and day comparison that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the original one. Now that the camera lens blur is on our background image, I'm going to turn that up to about 10. We're going to go over to our main one and turn this to zero. Now what we can do now that the main one is in focus, we can keyframe both of these just like so. And we're going to have it go from the background being out of focus and the heart being in focus to it switching and the background being in focus and the heart not being in focus. So let's go over to about three seconds here and we'll bring the blur radius down to zero. As you guys can see, the background is now in focus. Then we'll go over to the heart and we'll change that to 10, uh, maybe even something a little bit more intense like 20. And if we play it through, you guys can see the difference just like so. And now a couple more tips that we can add to this to make it blend even more is we can match the grain. Everything pretty much has grain, but we're going to make sure we're using add grain here. We're going to go over to preview turn it on final output and you guys can tweak the intensity, the size, all of that there to get it to your liking. I'm going to leave it at that because and I'm going to leave it at that because I think it looks pretty good. Now what you guys can also do as well is add a little bit of glow. I'm going to go with unique glow here and I recommend turning the threshold up, which pretty much means bringing the glow effect down. Let's try 65. Now I think that looks pretty good there, guys. That is super well blended. You compare it to the original heart that we started with and have here, guys. And then we bring it to this. We have a super well blended heart in the scene. And you guys can do this with everything to match to the background. Now, this is a little bit more intense because it is Chrome. But if you are using something a little bit different, for example, like all these presets here, like if you're using Metal Diffused, you guys can see, boom, it's not that intense. You go over to Environment, you load the exact same texture, you hit OK. It's not the exact same reflectiveness as before. It's the same colors and everything just like that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe.